Welcome back to my channel Firewall again. We have completed our domain 1 of PC NSC series which is plan. Now we are moving to domain 2 which is deploy and configure. Let's start with identifying the application meaning in the traffic log. We see traffic log with the message like incomplete, insufficient data, non-sync TCP, not applicable, unknown TCP, unknown UDP and unknown P2P. To safely enable application on your network, over the course of session each packet is being evaluated for the app ID. The state of the app ID recognizes changes as session progresses and this state can be found in a traffic log. Number one, incomplete. Either the three-way TCP handshake did not complete or three-way TCP handshake did not complete but there was no data after the handshake to identify the application traffic being seen not really an application for example if a client send a server a sync and the Palo Alto network device create a session for that scene but the server never sends sync act back to the client then that session is incomplete next insufficient data not enough data to identify application so for example if the three-way TCP handshake completed and there was one data packet after the handshake but was not enough to match any of our signatures then the user will see insufficient data in application field of the traffic log unknown TCP the firewall captured the three-way TCP handshake but the application was not identified perhaps because of use of a custom application for which the firewall does not have signatures unknown UDP unknown UDP traffic unknown P2P it matches generic P2P data last not applicable the Palo Alto network device has received data that will be discarded because the port or service that the traffic is coming is on is not allowed or no rule or policy allows that port or service. For example, if there was only one rule on the Palo Alto networks device and that rule allowed the application of the web browsing only on a port or service 80 and the traffic web browser or any other application is sent to the Palo Alto network device on any other port service besides 80 then the traffic is discarded or a drop and you will see session with not applicable in the application field app id enable visibility into application on network so you can learn how they work and understand their behavior characteristics and their relative risk this knowledge about application allows you to create and enforce security policy rules to enable, inspect and shape desired application and block unwanted applications. After you define policy rule to allow traffic, App ID begins to classify traffic without any additional configuration. App ID is patented traffic classification system available only in Palo Alto network firewalls. It determines what an application is irrespective of port protocol encryption such as SSH or SSL or any other evasive tactic used by application. It applies multiple classification mechanisms, application signatures, application protocol decoding to your network traffic to accurately define application and identify it. The App ID engine is driven by pattern recognition feature in the hardware and software of Pan OS firewalls. It is based on scanning payload and application headers only. It does not use port number as recognition tool. It uses only the secondary enforcement. The signature database used by App ID scanning engine is uploaded, updated periodically by Palo Alto Networks through the application and threat updates. App ID engine is fundamental to Pan OS software and cannot be turned off. Even when the App ID is not being used as a part of security policy rule, the traffic log shows traffic classified by App ID. App ID engine also can look inside of protocol for tunneling. 
applications for example the firewall recognize the http protocol as app id web browsing but when http traffic that belongs to a specific application example facebook will identify as by app id here is how app id identifies application traversing your network number one traffic is matched against policy to check whether it is allowed on the network number two signatures then are applied to allowed traffic to identify the application based on unique application properties and related transaction characteristics the signature also determines if the application is being used on its default port or if it is using a non-standard port traffic that is allowed by policy then scan for three threads and is further analyzed to identify the application more granularly if app id determines that encryption ssl or ssh is in use and if decryption policy rule is in use or in place the session is decrypted and application signature are applied against decrypted flow number four decoders for known protocol then are used to apply additional context-based signature to detect other application that may be tunneling inside of the protocol for example yahoo instant messenger messenger use across http decoders validate that the traffic confirms to the protocol specification and provides support for night traversal and for opening of dynamic pinholes for applications such as sip and ftp for applications that are particularly evasive and cannot be identified through advanced signature and protocols analysis behavior analysis may be used to determine the identity of the application after the application is determined or identified the policy checks determine how to treat the application for example block allow and scan for threats inspect for unauthorized file transfer and data pattern or shape using qos over the course of session each packet is being evaluated for the app id the state of the app id recognizes changes as session progresses and this state can be found in a traffic log